Okay, here we can see a brand new Micro 850 starter pack, one of several different models Rockwell makes. Let's talk about starter packs for a second. Rockwell makes starter packs as a way for new customers or new companies to try out their products. So they're discounted, they're bundled together, and they really save a new customer or new company money when trying to just, you know, explore one of Rockwell's products for the first time. They are called starter packs, not keep going packs. So typically you can only buy one unless you're a college or high school. Now having said that, let's go ahead and take a look at the label. This particular model is a 2080 LC50 starter pack. And we can see on the side here, it tells us what comes in the box. We got a micro 850, we got a 24 volt DC power supply, we got a plug-in module, we got a PanelView 800 4 inch HMI. You can see that's a label. Previously it was a PanelView component, now it's a PanelView 800. We get an input simulator board, a USB cable, an Ethernet cable, and a copy of Connect the Components Workbench. So that's a lot of good stuff in the box. Um, why don't we go ahead and open it? You can see here there is a factory seal. You don't want to break that unless you're sure you're going to keep the, uh, keep the unit you purchased. So let's go ahead and break ours. I'll slice it off with my knife. And let's open it up and see what's inside. Now, you know, I'm noticing there's a second factory seal here, too. Let's go ahead and cut them both while we're here. Okay. And we'll flip that up. And how do we open this? Let's try it uh, opening the top here and see if we can pull this out. All right. All right. Let's see it like that. So here we can see our Micro 850 and on this side we have some documentation. Okay, we have a starter pack book. Let's go ahead and open that up. Get it out of the Ziploc here and take a look. We have a starter pack manual. Let's see what's in there. Additional documentation, some getting started information. Um, other resources, uh, how to wire up the input simulator. Okay, that's good. Well, that's it, that looked handy. Um, here we have the uh, installation instructions for the power supply, the installation instructions for the Micro 850 itself. We have here, looks like a cutout to me. Yep, this is the panel view cutout. Looks like it's for all three different sizes that one side. Um, here is the release notes for the PanelView 800. Uh, here's a hazardous location, oh hazardous materials disclosure. Alright now we have the installation instructions for the PanelView 800. We have a short little Ethernet cable, she looks like a three-footer. We have a copy of Connected Components Workbench. Version 4. <laughs> We're in version 8. Now, I only bought this a couple of months ago, so this is an old disc, a very old disc. You'll want to go online and get the latest version because that's ancient. <laughs> um, okay, what else do we have here? We have under this flap, we have a USB cable. We have the PanelView 800. I got to say, I like the looks of these PanelView 800s. I just think they look nicer than the uh, PanelView components did. They're a lot faster, too. Okay, so here we can see the panel view 800. Uh, there's the power, SD, Ethernet, um, RS-232-485. Let's take a look at the back here. You can see the label, the removable battery, and the USB port. And I think that's it. Okay, so we'll put that one aside. We have the promised power supply, I think. No, what is this? Oh, an IF2, okay. Then we'll have to break that factory seal to get into that. Let's get the knife back here. We'll open this guy up. I'll try, try not to cut myself. <laughs> All right, there we go. And this is an IF2, so we have a document on the IF2. No, I have four. No, I have two and I have four. Okay. Well, that does that documents for both. 
Oh, we got the uh, mandatory two screws there, so you can bolt it in. Here we have our static bag, Ziploc bag. Yank it out. Okay. And here we can see our IF2 analog input module. See the front there? Terminal block. Let's see what's on the side here. We got a little label. See if there's anything else on the other side. Yep, more labels here. And on the back, see the circuit board, the plug, and the little uh, clips to hold it in. Let's put that one side for now. Take some of these packaging out. Looks like we have more stuff in here. Oh, the simulator board. Pull that out. Take a look at that. Looks like I have it upside down. <laughs> All right. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, we'll put that one side. We have the mounting clips for the panel view. Put that one side. And now we have our Micro 850. It's a pretty good size unit, too. So if I can get it out of here, move the box out of the way. And let's take a look at it. Now, we have this label on the front here. This is, on the top, or rather, this is something you want to leave on. You do not want wire strands or metal filings falling into the circuitry of your PLC because honestly what that what's going to happen is it's going to shut out your circuit board so leave this on do not power the unit up and leave this on until you're done drilling above it and wiring above it and then you can pull this off without the fear of things falling down into it so let's go ahead and pull that off and I just noticed that the wire the power supply is installed somewhere over there just noticed that the uh, the unit came with the power supply installed let's uh, see if we can take that off let's take a look at the power supply first just a, uh, a little 120 to 24 volt power supply take a look at the label here take a look at the back it could be DIN rail mounted if you wanted also screw holes see it's vented Look at the, where the wire comes in, both on the top and bottom. And there's no connection between this and the micro. You have to wire it yourself. But it is nice because it slides on just like that and snaps on. So that's good. Um, here we have the 850. Uh, let's take a look at the top. See the top wiring terminal. These are removable. Some of them, some of the lesser expensive uh, Micro 800s don't have removable terminal blocks, but you can tell they're removable because they're green. The other ones would just be the same gray color as the unit. See, we have three expansion modules. Let's take a look at the front of the unit here. These caps are covering the ports. Let's take a look here. Take these all off. So I can do this without breaking them. <laughs> All right, so now we get a better look at that. So here we can see we have an Ethernet port, right? A mini DIN port and a USB port. So we got all three styles of ports there on the front of the unit. Plus a little mode switch here to change the mode of the PLC. Okay, we also have our three I.O. covers, so we can put plug-in expansion I.O. on it. Put that back on. We also have an end cap. The Micro 850 is the only model that takes the expansion modules off to the right, so we do have this end cap. Now, this end cap is just a piece of plastic. Unlike the compact logics like the L23, L L24, um, you actually are going to have to buy an end cap if you add expansion I.O. onto this. So let's take a look at the label that was covered up by the end cap. Here we can see the part number, series, and all the good information we need about this unit. Um, see it's DIN rail mountable, also has feet for screw mounting or panel mounting. So let's go ahead and summarize what we received in the starter pack. It started with the Micro 850. We also got a Panel View 800. We also got a, an input simulator. We'll put that right there. 
we got an I.O. card, we got a power supply, um, what else did we get? We got a USB cable, we got an Ethernet cable, and we got an, <laughs> we got an old copy of the uh, Connected Components Workbench. You'll want to download a new copy. We have the screws and miscellaneous hardware and a ton of uh, literature. So in summary, I would say this is a pretty nice little kit. You really get everything you need to try out a little Rockwell system using their component level PLC and HMI. And that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute.